This month's TV 47 Star Student of the Month from Childersburg High School is brought to you by Curtis and Son Funeral Home. And good morning to Tori Williams. Tori, good morning. Good Thank morning. you for being here today. Look mighty pretty this morning in Thank your you. Childersburg blue. Thank you. Uh, you're a uh, junior at Childersburg High School. Tell the folks a little bit about Tori Williams. Um, well, as you said, I'm a junior at Childersburg High School. Um, I'm in the Key Club, the Beta Club. I'm a part of the band. This year I was the band captain. Um, I'm on the color guard. I'm on all A honor roll. So, yeah. how, how difficult... <laughs> Uh, you're on the A honor roll and got all these other things that you're involved in. Uh, how do you balance that? Um, I just try to make sure that I balance studying and um, making sure that I do well in my classes and pay attention and have everything. Are, are there distractions uh, that that could could take you away from uh, your goal? Um. Possibly as far as trying to manage social yeah, life yeah. and school at the same time. Uh, we're talking with Tori Williams. She's a junior at Childersburg High School. Uh, in the ninth grade, you were a part of the Talladega County Technology Showcase. And you, you remember that, don't you? Yes, sir. What was so special about that? Um, we worked on building our own PCR machine. And that sort of led me into what I want to do for the rest of my life. And uh, you used uh, this uh, PCR machine was used to amplify DNA samples. And uh, that leads me to my next question. you got a career ahead of you. Talk about yes, that. Sir. Um, hopefully I want to go to college, pursue a degree in molecular biology and become a geneticist so that I can make a contribution to cancer research. Wow, that is special. Uh, when did you begin to think about this? Um, probably when I was in middle school, I knew that I wanted to do some cancer research. I um, had a friend who was recently getting over cancer, and seeing her journey just allowed me to know that that's what I wanted to do with my life. Wow, that is wonderful. Uh, you also received uh, that year the highest average grades in English, history, and biology. Your 10th grade year was uh, one of many opportunities, but let's get to your junior year. <laughs> it's jam-packed full of uh, uh, educational and other uh, events that you're involved in. Uh, at the end of your uh, sophomore year, you received the highest average in history, chemistry, English, algebra two, with trig, band, and Spanish one. It's phenomenal that you were... Uh, uh, at, able to do all of this. How, yes, do you, how do you do that? Um, I just try to make sure that I stay on top of things and make sure that I cover all of my topics well. Yeah. You excited about being a part of the Childersburg Band too? Yes, sir. I really enjoy doing that. Yeah. And uh, uh, you were the uh, band captain? Yes, sir. So what does the band captain do? Um, we're right up under the drum major. We go around and we make sure that all the sections are functioning properly and that everybody's doing what they're supposed to do. And so we just help things run a little bit smoothly. And you were part of the color guard, is yes, that right? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. Uh, you uh, have been involved in, in studying and, and uh, range from uh, Nobel Prize winners to teenagers who won the Intel Science and Technology Affairs to a woman who received one of the world's face uh, first full face transplant. Yes, sir. Th that's phenomenal that yes. we're that far uh, educated and uh, uh, seasoned and taught as far as uh, our health is concerned. I guess that uh, encouraged you. It really did. Seeing all those people and getting to hear from them just let me know that I'm on the right track to do what I'm supposed to do. And uh, you also heard from an Army captain who received the Medal of Honor, the Purple Heart, and the Bronze Star. Yes, sir. Uh, and even heard from a man who received a bionic eye. Yes, sir. Uh, do you stop and think sometimes uh, how you, as an adult, can contribute it? contribute back into our society? Yes, sir. I can say that going and seeing all those things just helped me know that that's something that I want to be a part of one day, that I want to help people in that same manner. 
So. Well, obviously, you're on the right road to success. We're talking with Tori Williams, who's a junior at Childersburg High School. What about your family a little bit? Um, I have two sisters, and um, we live with our mom, and they're all here with me today supporting me like they always do. And you're involved in your church work, too? Yes, sir. Um, I go to Pine Grove Baptist Church where Reverend Clifton Cook is our pastor. All right. So. Uh, you're a part of the uh, praise dance team. Yes. You know, that that kind of <laughs> coincides with your work with the Childersburg Band, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, you remember the Key Club <laughs> where you take part in uh, some of the community service activities. What are some of those? Um, we go and we help out at the animal shelter. I know um, recently we did a project where we went and like packed books to send mm -hmm. off to kids. We help with Boo at the Zoo. So there are many things uh, that we do. Of course, you want to attend uh, college. Have you looked at some of the schools? Um, hopefully, I want to go to Auburn. Mm -hmm. So that's... Where I'm looking have you to looked at to. what some of the things they have to offer there? Yes, sir, yeah. I have. Um, I went there this past summer for our um, for a band camp, so I got to go around and have a tour of the school then. So, uh, you are of course a junior at Childersburg High School. What would you say to parents and other uh, kids that may be watching this morning that uh, you know? how to live their dream, how to fulfill the vision that they feel inside of them. Um, I just have to say that if it's something that you really want to do and something that you really want to pursue, that you can do anything that you set your mind to. You just have to believe enough in yourself and know that it's something that you can do. The classes that you excel in, and obviously you're very, very gifted, uh, does this come easy for you? Um, I think that most people believe that it does, but I honestly have to put in as much hard work as anyone else does and try my hardest to make sure that I maintain the grades that I know that I can make. Well, it's fantastic that you've got your future in mind and, and uh, what can be accomplished through education. Tori Williams, a junior at Childersburg High School, uh, is our Star Student of the Month. And Tori, thanks so much for coming this morning. Thank you for having me. We've got more Daybreak just ahead here on this Wednesday morning. This month, Star Student of the Month has been brought to you by Curtis and Son Funeral Home and TV 47.